Okay, we just start off here with the Bezier pen tool and I'm going to start with the top left corner and get in as close to this corner as I possibly can get. Go around the border and fill this in. I'm going to go to the behaviors shape track points and you see you get these little red circles with the little targets inside I'm going to go to the inspector I'm going to start with this one up here I'm going to click on that and the easiest way to go is just to come back over here and line up that little crosshair with the exact corner go to this one there this one it's already in good shape and this one right there okay click analyze now when the hand crosses over that lower right corner that point is going to fail but we're not going to worry about it we're just going to let these other three points analyze there we go we're at the end of the film clip I'm actually going to um, set a out point there okay we go back into the shape here cut the opacity way down I want a little bit of opacity because I need to be able to line up this outer edge and we're going to go back to the frame where this first fails which is right there I'm going to click this little frame advance until I can get to the next one zoom in on the scene and I'm going to grab the little red circle and put it back in the corner. I'm going to go back into the track points behavior. I'm going to turn off track 1, track 2, and track 4. I just want to track this one and then I'll go to analyze. And you see the good track picks up again. So right there. Okay. Stop this. We go to the end. I'm going to click the reverse checkbox here. I'm going to move this target back to the corner right there. And hit analyze. All right. That's all I needed to do. The hand crosses here, the hand crosses here. So we're going to go back to the frames that were the last best frames. Okay, I'm going to go forward one, grab the little white button, and position it in the corner. Here's one. So you can use the uh, edge of the rectangle that you drew as a guide. Okay, I'm off somewhere. this one and sometimes it helps to turn off the auto zoom that way you can just drag the shape and correct this Okay. Okay, 
Okay, now we come down to the other one. This pan is probably a lot smoother than that. All right. Now we'll go pull in another clip. Import that. This clip is shorter than the other one, so why don't I just retime it? Okay, that's good enough. Gonna track move, basic motion, match move. And I'm going to drag in the track points. I set the transformation of four corner and attach the source. Okay. For the finishing touch, I'm going to bring this down underneath. And add a keyer to the screen. I'm going to turn off the shape. And that's basically it. You can fool around with the keyer to clean it up a little bit more. I can add a keyer to this one which is what I did in the original video I'm going to put a shape behind that Just like that. Um, that's all there should be to it. If you really nail the original points for the tracker, it should track flawlessly. Uh, you've got to get them in there with a good amount of contrast between pixels. The tracker really does a very good job of tracking in general, no matter what, but if the surrounding pixels are too much like the one you've picked to track, then there's a likelihood it could fail easily. So you try and pick a pixel that's got some contrast near it. You know, I've got that gray shell on the laptop lid there, and uh, to the green screen there was still a little line that went around that was a little darker, but I didn't have any trouble getting this to track on those corners. The only one that I knew I was going to have trouble with was the one that the hand passes over. So it just takes a little bit of practice. I didn't used to like to use trackers very much. I still don't use trackers very much. Sometimes it's faster to do it manually. But when you're getting into something that's a little more sophisticated, then the automatic tracker might be worth working with. I hope you found this useful. I'll catch you on the next one.